Hey, peace and blessings, everybody. Welcome to your full body yoga routine. This is a great practice to do in the morning when you're just waking up. Um, but you can even do this throughout the day at any point when you're just looking to open throughout the whole body. So let's go ahead standing at the top. Let's go ahead and get started standing at the top of the mat. Rotate your palms to face forward out in front of you. Feel the shoulders settling down your back. Close the eyes if you're comfortable doing that. And find your breath. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach arms to the sky. Look slightly up. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Slowly bring yourself all the way down. As you get into your fold, pause for a moment, bend your knees, grab your elbows, drop your head down, and sway side to side a few times. Find the moment. Let the moment come to you. Bring your fingertips down to the ground. Step the left foot all the way back behind you. Drop the left knee down to the mat and bring your arms up to the sky, find a lunge. So we're not sinking all the way down into the lunge, right? We are feeling the hips move forward and down, but we're kind of actively giving ourselves a stopping point. The focus is to press or to stretch the front of the left hip flexors. So we're feeling the left hip move forward and down, and then we're feeling the upper body rise up to complete that stretch. Let's go ahead and take an inhale. Cactus the arms on your exhale, stretch the shoulders, bring the elbows back and down. Inhale, bring arms back up to the sky. Exhale, fingertips come down to the mat, half splits, hips pull back in space. Stretch your fingertips as far forward as they'll go. And you're welcome to keep a little bend into your right knee. Big inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Come forward, left fingertips down. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee off the mat and twist your right hand up to the sky. Let's take a big inhale. Big exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. From here, bring the right hand down, pivot both of your feet to face sideways toward the left edge of your mat and surrender down into a wide-legged forward fold. I recommend you keep the weight mostly forward toward the toes, even as you feel your hips driving back in space. Maybe you crawl your fingertips out in front of you to create more length. Try to keep engaging in the thigh muscles, staying strong in your legs. Find as much length into the spine as you can, so maybe like a halfway lift here. And then pivot into skandhasana lunge at the back of the mat. Feel free to use your hands to help crawl you in that direction. Option to float the hands, but you don't have to. Take an inhale. Exhale here. Shift to the top of the mat, plant the hands down at the top of the mat, and step yourself back into downward facing dog. Drive the hips back in space, long through your spine, long through your shoulders, long through your side bodies. Take a deep bend into the knees, look forward and then shift into plank pose, so straighten out your legs. From plank pose, chaturanga, you can always drop the knees first, it's like a yoga push-up with the elbows staying in, stay strong here, and then find your upward facing dog. So tops of the feet down, pull the hips forward, roll the shoulders back, and really try to point the toes behind you, strong in the feet, inhale. 
Exhale, shift back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, begin to step the feet to the top of the mat into a forward fold. Bend into your knees. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing and sweep your arms up. Exhale, draw your hands down to your heart. Inhale, sweep arms up to the sky. Exhale, little bend in the knees, forward fold. Let the head drop down. This time, halfway lift on your inhale. Lengthen through the spine, create some energy. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips down, step the right foot all the way back behind you. Drop right knee down to the mat. Sweep arms to the sky. Open up. Find your lunge. Again, what can be nice to do is sink down all the way into the lunge and then pull yourself out a little bit because that's where you can be a little bit more active. Left hip pulls back, right hip pushes forward. Left hip pulls back, right hip pushes forward. Something to always keep in mind. You have about two more breaths. Rotate your pinkies forward. Open the heart. And then let's inhale. Cactus arms, elbows pull back and down on the exhale, lift the chest. Inhale, arms back up to the sky. Exhale, fingertips sweep down to the ground. Half splits, hips pull back, crawl fingertips forward. So a big thing I see a lot with my students is the fingertips are here and we're rounding and we're here. Right? Theoretically, there's nothing wrong with that, but we can find a lot of good energy by instead of folding down and looking back behind us, look out in front of you. One of my teachers likes to say, never don't look forward. <laughs> Meaning we always want to be looking out in front of us. The only time we want to be looking behind us is when our head is naturally looking behind us, kind of like in downward facing dog. Begin to shift forward into your twist. So lift the back knee off the mat and then twist your left hand up to the sky. Big twist, spreading the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down. Pivot both of your feet to face toward the right side edge of your mat. Wide-legged, standing forward fold. Drop into it. Move into a halfway lift, begin to lengthen through your spine. And then shift to the back of the mat and find your skandhasana lunge, working into your hips, staying strong in your left thigh. Come to the top of the mat, plant the hands down, down dog. And now we get to see how in down dog, it doesn't make sense to look to the hands, but it makes sense to look behind you in down dog because that's where the, the head naturally falls. From down dog, bend into the knees nice and deeply and then shift forward into plank position. From plank, slowly lower, take your chaturanga into your upward facing dog. Pull yourself through and then shift back downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, lift the right leg up to the sky to three-legged down dog. And then step all the way through to the top of the mat, entering into a lunge. Drop the left knee down behind you. Sweep arms up to the sky. Open some space. Inhale. Exhale, cactus arms. Pull elbows back and down. Inhale, bring arms back up to the sky. Exhale, sweep the hips back into half splits. Inhale, bring some length into your spine. Exhale, fold a little bit more. Inhale, come forward and twist your right hand to the sky as you lift the back knee off the mat. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Shift and pivot your feet to the side of your mat. Inhale to halfway lift, lengthen into your spine. Exhale to the back of the mat, skandhasana lunge. Inhale, shift to the top of the mat, plant the palms down. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog, right foot meets the left foot. 
Inhale, shift forward into your plank position. Exhale, slowly lower. Take Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, pull your spirit through into your upward facing dog, your big back bend. And then exhale, ripple it back to downward facing dog. Find your home base. Inhale, sweep left leg up to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. Anjaneyasana, lunging position. Inhale, sweep arms up to the sky. Exhale, cactus arms, pull elbows back and down. Inhale, bring arms back up to the sky. Exhale, half splits as the hips pull back in space. Inhale, come forward, lift the back knee and then sweep the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Pivot to the right side edge of your mat. Inhale, take a halfway lift and find lots of length. Exhale, skandasana lunge. Take your energy to the back of your mat. Inhale, shift forward. Plant the palms down. Exhale, step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, roll and ripple forward into your plank position. Exhale, take your Chaturanga Dandasana, lower halfway. Inhale, Ordva Mukha Svanasana, take your upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, take your downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward into your plank position. Exhale with strength, slowly lower Chaturanga. Inhale, pull through, take your Ordva Mukha. Exhale, roll back, take your Adho Mukha Svanasana. <laughs> Inhale, sweep right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step right foot up to the top of the mat, Anjaneyasana, lunge. Drop the, right, drop the left knee behind you, sweep arms up, inhale. Exhale, cactus arms, lift chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, come forward into your twist. Exhale, shift into your wide-legged fold. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, skandasana, back of your mat. Inhale to the top of the mat, place your hands down. Exhale, downward facing dog, right foot meets the left foot. Inhale, sweep left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, step left foot, top of the mat, anjaneyasana, lunge. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale up, exhale half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, revolved twist, left hand to the sky. Exhale, wide-legged standing forward fold, pivot to the right edge of your mat. Inhale, take a halfway lift, find some space. Exhale, back of the mat, Skandasana. Inhale to the top of the mat, plant the palms. Exhale, step the left foot back to the right foot, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple into a plank position. Exhale, take chaturanga. Upward dog, ordva mukha. Downward facing dog, adho mukha. From your down dog position, deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time, deep breath in. Breath out. Drop the knees down to the mat. Sit back to your heels. Roll out the wrists a few times. Roll out the shoulders a few times. Roll out the neck several times. My friends, that is all for today. Today's practice was meant to be a very quick get up and get moving and just find some energy in your body type practice. 
So this is a great thing to do if you're in a rush and you just want something to fit into your morning routine. Um, if you have a little break in the middle of the day, a little yoga snack, or this is also a good warm up to do before another exercise or another yoga practice as well. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. I hope to see you soon on or off the mat. My name is Ben and it's been a pleasure to share this practice. Until next time, peace and love. See you soon.